Hey guys, Apron here. Um, it's been a while since I did my RTS challenge video, and I've had a lot of people uh, sending me messages through YouTube complaining that I never went back to finish it, haven't posted anything else, and uh, I just want to say, sorry guys, I had planned to, but you know, life gets in the way sometimes. Well, I was going to go back and finish uh, the RTS game, but uh, as it turns out, I need to do a, uh, a Pac-Man game. So I thought I might as well turn that into one of these videos. Um, I'm not going to give myself a time limit like I had with the last one. Um, the reason being so many people uh, complained to me that they wanted to see me finish it and not just try to hit a certain uh, goal of time. And then also, since I was off by so much on that one, I really don't know how long it's going to take me to do this game. I, I will guess half an hour, maybe a little more, like 40, 45 minutes, because I'm trying to talk my way through it and it's going to slow me down but um, uh, I don't know I'm not really going to hold myself to that though so same rules as before I'm not going to use anything that you would not have with a normal Windows system assuming that you have Visual Basic 6.0 on it um, I'm just going to use paint to do the art I'm going to use um, only the code that I can do off the top of my head so I'm not importing anything weird so if you're watching this and you have uh, VB 6.0, you should be able to do everything line by line and it will work exactly the same on your machine as it does on this one. Um, I may stop the video from time to time just to uh, save it and start it over. I noticed the last video, the longer it ran, the more out of sync the video and the audio was. So I'm going to try to solve that problem by stopping this one occasionally and then starting it back up. So, uh, time to get started. I wanted to save a little bit of time, so I started by doing the artwork before the video, which, you know what, you could take all the time in the world to make the crappiest graphics or the nicest graphics ever, but it's just done in paint. These tiles here are 30 pixels by 30 pixels. I'm going to have a little bit of trouble lining up some of this stuff just with the mouse because I've resized my desktop to make the video fit and be a good size, and on the laptop it's kind of stretched it all out of out of whack but 30 by 30 um, just so that you get an idea of what I'm doing here these along the top here are all of my different tiles to do the walls I grabbed this from online just some little uh, visual so I could remember what the Pac-Man map actually looks like or what one of the potential maps looks like then I have um, each animation for him walking in just each direction. I've got the ghosts in there. These are the shadows which will be used for transparency and then r afterwards I remembered he's got to die so um, here's the animations for that. So that turned into this file where I had to have a white background and let me get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, well everything's sized funny like I said, I'm not used to being at this resolution, but set my form to pixel mode, going to make my first picture box also pixel, auto redraw, get rid of the border, I want it flat, and I'm actually, yeah, I'll leave this one here, make a copy of it, I do not want it to be an array. I'm going to rename this one. Now, you know, I'll leave the names all the same so it won't get confusing to anybody later. For this one, I'm going to put, I'll make it invisible. I'm going to cut and paste my graphics in. Uh, let's see here. I'll just make this full screen for a minute. All right. Uh, let's see, I might as well start putting in the code. I haven't really planned this one out. Uh, I don't think I'm actually going to need any random numbers, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's see. Well, for a map, I think I had estimated it was going to be about a 20 by 20 map. So um, I'll do a two-dimensional array. For that, I'll comment 0 will equal open, 1 will equal the wall, Two will be those little node things and or pellets, I think they were called. And three will equal the super pellets. Um 
I usually do this. Well, I can't spell today. I'll have a, a separate um, two-dimensional array for tile A and tile B, which will just indicate where on, just graphically, where from this sheet it's going to pull the X and Y coordinates. Um, that way, I can just generically call it a wall or not, but then I can pick how it looks and it doesn't affect anything. Um, I gotta have my guy. I'll do A and B to represent his X and Y location, just because X and Y are used already by VB for different things. Uh, D for his direction, so let's see. I'll do up, down, left, and right. And then D2 will be the desired destination, so that when the person messes with the keyboard, they can't actually change his direction on the fly with by clicking one of the arrows. Otherwise, you know, you can be in the middle of traveling from one tile to another, and then it'd look really weird. I'll do uh, the variable Ani to represent his animation. Actually, that would be like 0 to 4, I think. What about here? 0, 1, 2, 3. So, 0 to 3. Um, what else am I going to need? I'll need the ghosts. Um, you know, I'll, I'll hard code in the number. There's always, what, four ghosts? I haven't played Pac-Man in forever. I'll, I'll give them an A and a B, but I'll put G in front so I know it's ghosts. They're going to need a lot of the same variables. There's a direction, their own animation, and you know what? I'll just use C since I've already used A, B, and D for um, whether they're alive or dead. I don't know, I'll probably need that later. I don't know if I'm going to put in everything that Pac-Man has. I need score. Uh, oh, if you saw the last video, um, making a map editor is usually the first thing you have to do in any game. So I'm going to need the ability to select tiles. So select A and select B is what I usually use for that. Um, what else am I going to need? Here we go. If Pac-Man is currently dying, Oh, wait, wait, death animation. Let's just do that. Live. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, when the game first starts, the ghosts don't move. Which, if you understand the logic behind how the ghosts work, that actually makes sense. Um, starting, we'll do... Countdown ticks till ghost move. Let's try that. And uh, oh, crap. oh, um, let's call it super here. Um, when he eats the big pellets and he becomes invincible or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna save this before I do too much, and then I'm going to reset the video just so that it doesn't. Uh, get the audio out of sync.